when groups of settlers wanted to move into an uncharted region of the American continent 200 years ago, they hired a guide to take them. Someone who could show them the way through dangerous mountain passes and over ranging rivers and defend them by wild animals called pathfinders. They were the ones out in front, ahead of the party, leading the way, and it's no different today. Believe it or not, youth ages 10 to 15 have always been an important contributing part of the movement known as the Seventh-day Adventist Church. At the time, the importance has been placed in the shadows, but it has always been there nonetheless. We stand here, exploits of our pioneers, thinking them to be old folks, simply because technology of photography was not readily available used until most of our founding pioneers were well along in life. The courage, leadership, and dedication shown by leaders such as James and Ellen White, Uria and his sister Ann Smith, John Longboard, John Andrews, and many others did not just all of a sudden appear when they were near. Those traits were all there from the time when they were still young, like you and me. At this moment, you and I back in to revisit the original process, struggles, and successes God has blessed the Pathfinder movement in the past. Following the historical tour, we will then journey our present day. May God bless all of us, and may we be inspired to be Pathfinders strong. <laughs>